Welcome to this week's workout. You're getting straight into the warm up. Bring hands behind ears. Squat down, come up, twist to one side. Squat down, come up, twist to the other. And alternate sides. The workout outline is in the description. I'll preview each set and show my weights before starting. Pause and restart the video if you need more time. Moving into a forward shoulder roll to arm roll. And reverse the direction. Cross the arms in front of the body and pull the elbows back. Bring hands behind ears. Hinge forward to flat back. Stand up. Press up and repeat. Move into a wide stance, lunge to one side, come up to arms overhead in the middle, lunge to the other, and alternate sides. and come up to standing. Bring hands to feet, rainbow the arms as you come up. To finish the warm up, squat down, come up to overhead side reach, and alternate sides. Set number one starts with a sumo deadlift. Wider than shoulder width stance, toes are pointing out. Engage the core to protect the spine. Come down to the weight, press hard through the feet to stand up. You should really feel this in the inner thighs and the glutes. Moving into a bent arm side lateral raise. Elbows are at 90 degrees. Lead with the elbows to raise the arms up to shoulder height. This targets the side delt. Each exercise is to 12 reps and a timer will show your rest. Getting set up. And starting. Right now.
Last strap. Set the weight down. Setting up. And starting. Right now. This is your last rep. Getting set up and starting right now. Last strap, setting up, and starting right now. This is your last strap. Getting set up and starting right now. Last strap, setting up, and starting right now. This is your last rep. Set two starts with a goblet squat. Shoulder width stance, weight in front of the chest. Sit back and down. Press hard through the feet to come up. Inhale lower, exhale up. Then moving into a dumbbell pullover, which is great for both the chest and the back muscles. The upper back is on the bench, Hips are lowered to create a nice stretch in the lat muscles. Pull the dumbbell up and over the body, stopping over the middle of the chest. If you don't have a bench, you can also do this from the floor. I recommend if doing from the floor that you hold the dumbbell horizontally.
Because of the pulling motion, you want to make sure to keep that core tight. Same motion, pull up and over, stopping when you're above the middle of the chest. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep. Setting up. And starting right now. This is your last strap. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last strap. Setting up. And starting right now. This is your last strap.
Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep. Setting up. And starting. Right now. This is your last strap. Set number three will be a tricep with three exercises. The first is an alternating crossbody hammer. Really squeeze the muscle when your elbow is at 90 degrees. Then into skiers. Elbows start at 90. Use the triceps on the back of the arms to press the weight back. Then down to the floor for a bird dog. On all fours, lift the opposite arm and leg. Make sure you pull out, not press up. Keep the hips level and core engaged so your back doesn't arch. Alternating sides. When alternating sides, we go to 12 reps on each side. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last strap on each side. Setting up. And starting right now. Last strap. Set the weights down and down to the floor. Setting up and starting right now.
Last strap on each side. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last strap on each side. Setting up. And starting right now. Last strap. Down to the floor and starting right now. Last strap on each side. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last strap on each side, setting up, and starting right now. Last strap, down to the floor. And starting right now.
Last strap on each side. And you made it! There's only a quick cool down stretch to go. Stay on the floor, come over onto your back. Bent knees twist over to one side, the upper body twists to the opposite direction. Bring the knees up and over to the other side. Twist the head in the opposite direction. Long exhales will help slow your breathing down. Still on your back, cross one foot over the opposite knee. Clasp the hand behind the thigh and pull in. I like to push the opposite knee gently out to deepen the stretch. Release, switch sides. Release, other side. Release and last side. Your goal is to complete three 30 minute full body workouts each week for the very best results. Release and come over onto all fours. For a child's pose, hands forward, sit back onto the heels. You should feel a stretch in the shoulders and the back. Come up, reach over to one corner of your mat, sit back into the opposite hip. Come up, walk the hands to the other side, sit back into the hip. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel amazing. Walk the hands to the center, sit back. I can't wait to lift with you soon.